Hey guys, what's up? Today we are in Icon Bronco number 63 and it is a 1969. We chose a super white, literally that's what it's called, from Toyota. That's just a really clean, pure, bright white. And then of course in the Stormtrooper theme, that means that a lot of the trim that is normally anodized or various textures is all blacked out. So. This truck is built in the new school style. It is running a blacked out front machined grill as well as the two part laser cut tailgate insert is blacked out. We left the anodized aluminum finish on the rear view mirrors and door handles, but then we continued the blackout theme more thoroughly through the interior, which we will get into in more detail here soon. On the exterior, we are running the Icon bumper systems, but of course, so the front is hiding the worn 9.5 XI winch, and that comes with a recovery gear bag full of all the goodies from ARB and Viking. And then we're running a Factor 55 super sexy upgraded front thimble thingamajigger that the client installed. The wheels are the usual Icon New School forged aluminum wheels made here in California. But in this case, at the client's request, we had those machined and modified to be true bead locks. I kind of like that. They look pretty cool to me. For tires, we're running the KM3 latest and greatest version of the mud terrain from our friends at BF Goodrich. What else can I tell you? We did the aux lighting front and rear. We did the uh, Viair dedicated onboard air compressor. We did that up in the rear behind the bumper and it has a dedicated power switch and then uh, a little goodie bag of various utilities for said compressor. We're also running the ARB air compressor, but we left that to be dedicated purely for the locking differentials. Front and rear locking differentials are fit into Curry axles, Dana architecture, 44 base front, 60 base rear, beautiful fit and finish on those. They are etched and powder coated. And then for suspension, we are running the Icon Sport suspension, which is all coilover design adjustable. And the sport aspect means it is nitrogen charged with remote canisters that have fast and slow speed adjustability to rebound, which is really nice. We're running tunable sway bars, front and rear, and Eibach coils. For powertrain, we're running the beloved Coyote 5 liter aluminum fuel injected V8 as found in contemporary Mustang GTs. For the tranny on this one, we're running the 4R70W whatever, the, I always forget the anachrons. I suck at anachrons and reference numbers on watches for that matter, but whatever, the bulletproof four speed with overdrive, which in turn is sending power through to the Atlas II twin stick part-time shift on the fly four wheel drive transfer case two speed low and high range. We're running a light window tent 3M film. We are running a bikini top as well as the full removable hard top. Hard top sports the Alcantara headliner. Of course, we're rocking the Icon visors as used in Lear Jets by Rosen. Other custom touches in the interior include Relicate leather. We've deleted the Chilowich inserts and the Chilowich floor mats. And in the door panel inserts and the cargo panel inserts, we did the same leather as applied to the seating. We have the optional carbon fiber three-stage heat blankets in the seats. We have the tuck and tumble and removable two-passenger rear forward-facing bench seat. And what else? We've got power windows with my gizmo where you simply nudge down for down and up for up, or you double tap and everybody down, and then you double tap and everybody up. 
We blacked out all the door hardware. We even blacked out the stainless steel laser cut ribbed inserts in this truck. And we continued that thought through the dash. So the glove box is fully blacked out powder coat as is the instrument panel housing. And even the dash knobs at the client's request have been blacked out. Although personally, I'm tempted to go back in there and white enamel infill the indicators, but he doesn't seem to think so. So I guess I'll pick my battles and leave it alone. Audio, we have our highest end audio system that is running the Focal K2 series speakers with remotes, uh, JL Audio amp, bass, um, we're running the 8200 now wireless uh, CarPlay compatible system in the Icon stainless steel center console. Oh yeah, one other really cool thing. So our buddies at um, Max Tie Downs, if you don't know the brand, they're known for, well, I guess it's fairly obvious, their tie down solutions. So they do all sorts of come along straps and tethers for your flatbed or hauler or whatever you need but they also do these super cool machined aluminum strips then there's a variety of inserts that you can put in and fit to various fit positions to tie down whatever the heck it is you imagine you needed to tie down so that's about it that's all i got for you i really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos you can reach out to us via our website, icon4x4.com, old school telephono, 818-280-3333. And of course, Facebook can be Jonathan Ward or Icon4x4, but realistically, all the fun goes down on Icon4x4's Instagram page. Thank you so much. Be well. Have a great day.